Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to do a quick timing check. Check out my previous video please about this 535. I did a compression test, you can find it right over there. And uh, that, was, that showed pretty good results. I'm quite happy with that. But we're going to check the timing anyway because I want to know if the chain is stretched or not or how far is it out, if it's out. So without any further ado, let's get on with this uh, quick tutorial. Right, I give it some a little bit more heat and let's see. Oh, yeah, finally. Oil shouldn't drip from here. This one is what this one was easy. I got that out earlier. That one uh, luckily wasn't tight at all. I'm gonna put some new O-rings there. So now I've got the spark plugs out as you can see. We got the bolt uh, for the crankshaft. So we're gonna have to remove the timing covers on the rear cylinder. We're working on the rear cylinder now. Right here we have the crankcase breather pipe. Read by hand I think. As always break the seal. Might be not too strong anyway. And this should just pop off. Shouldn't be any oil in there, to be honest. Might have some, but shouldn't be. Just get it out of the way. Two 5mm bolts. 5mm Allen key, I mean M6. And this should just pop off. It's only hold, held on with, uh, with some O-rings. Right, so someone used a gasket sealer on it. See that? See this gasket sealer? You know, you don't really need it if you if you swap the gasket out, which I don't think they did because it does look a bit worn. <laughs> it doesn't look very good. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit so nothing falls in there and then I'll be back. So we're looking for the T mark on the uh, timing window. On the sprocket there is a there is a dot there. That should align with that little stick up on the cylinder head. The engine is a counter rotating crankshaft engine meaning it spins that way okay so make sure you spin it uh, backwards just like the 1100. Okay, we're coming up to the mark. On that one, it's getting close now, so we're looking for the T mark. There is the T. Okay, I have to say that the timing is absolutely bang on. The T mark there, and the little dot on there lined up with the cylinder head marks. So that is actually okay. I'm happy with that. So we're gonna move into the front cylinder. We're gonna check the timing there. And I also wanted to check the chain guide because uh, the engine has a very, very slight noise. It's nothing crazy, but it's got a, a bit of a knock in the engine. And I wanted to make sure them uh, timing chain guides are not broken. But I do have a guess it's the, the starter mechanism which causing the, the problem uh, for the noise. So we're going to have to strip that down anyway. So stay tuned for that. Same thing here, we're gonna take off this cover. Five mil Allen key. <coughs> and again, that should just pop off. That's the problem with the uh, gasket sealers, it's sort of a glue. So it makes it difficult to, to get it off. But luckily we got some leverage here uh, going on on the fins. Just be careful not to break anything. And again. It's got that sealer on it. No gasket. Nothing there. Just uh, 
gasket sealer. I'm going to turn the engine until I got the single line mark on the on the flywheel. Again, remember clockwise. That's it. Just a single line. That's the front cylinder top dead center. This is the nut you're turning uh, clockwise. See that dot line up to this mark on the cylinder head is I can clearly see it's not one teeth out. It's maybe out mil, mil and a half, but that's that's not a big issue. I'm not too worried about that. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching this uh, quick tutorial about uh, engine timing. I hope you find it useful. If you have a 535 Virago, please consider subscribing. There is a lot, lot, lot more video coming up. Thank you very much for your time. Like or dislike the video, whichever you choose, I'm happy with. And uh, as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.